what's going on guys and welcome to your 48th javascript tutorial in which we'll be discussing about an operator called delete operator and to familiarize you with operators operators are nothing but like you use your arithmetic operators like um, plus minus multiply divide these things are called operators which basically work with uh, which have a special meaning so delete is not an arithmetic operator but is simply an operator which actually um, kinda unsets a variable or space so how does delete work let me show you so let's say I create a variable uh, let's say my var and set it 200 and I do delete my var and I console log my war. So what do you think? What would be console logged? Let's see. So here's my browser. I'll reload it. And now you can see that uncaught, re uh, uncaught reference my war is not defined. But if I comment out this statement, then you'll see that we console logs. It console logs as hundred. So what if I console log? this operator right here what will happen then so let's check this out let's reload now and you see that this returns true and this delete would return true when uh, you are trying to delete self set um, global property or not global any property and you are trying to delete global variable now var plays a important role here because if you set my var to var my var then this is kinda looks like a global uh, variable but it's not global because globals are used without the var keyword therefore var would make this my var property of uh, the global window as non configurable so this would not be deleted so if I reload this now then we get false and 100 as console logged as the result so now you can see that if you uh, type var keyword declare a variable with a var keyword then that variable could not be deleted with the delete operator so some other things where you can use delete is like let's say you have an array um, my array let's say and don't forget to remove the var keyword that means don't use var keyword because if you use that then um, obviously you wouldn't be able to use the delete operator so let's say if uh, one in my array and I hope I have taught you this uh, this simply means that if there's uh, index one position available in the array for example it would check for zero this is zero position this is first position so first position yes there's something in this and therefore this condition is true then this code would run but if I specify like if um, zero one two three four if four in array then this would not be executed because there's no fourth element similarly if there's something undefined here so for example if I put a comma right here then this is the fourth element but this is nothing but undefined so still if for in array would uh, evaluate to false so let's check our a quick example let's say if one in my array let's say console log yep one is present for now now what will we do is we'll just delete not the array itself but the first element of that array so now if we console log this again then what would happen is uh, we can specify in an else statement that no one is uh, now deleted so let's reload this and you can see now that yep one is present for now and the second executes as nope one is now deleted so what it does is 
in the first run obviously we have got the first position as something which is obviously blank but in second we have got the position removed because of the delete operator and if we console log the array here uh, my array and console log the array here as well my array then what will do, uh, you see the difference is that in here we have got first second third fourth as defined but this is sorry this should be zero one two three as defined but here it is zero two three so if you remember from the previous tutorials that arrays are special kinds of objects in JavaScript so obviously we could check them against like if one in array and like that and one thing I have to mention is that is this would work with objects exactly the same way so for example if I specify a property named my property is 100 and let's delete this code and if I say delete my prop uh, my array dot my property uh, my property and if I console log my array dot my property then obviously we would get okay or basically this should not be here we would get undefined because there's no property now my property because we have already deleted it with the delete operator if I comment it out reload then we got 100 as expected since this is used without variable itself var keyword therefore we could delete the whole object at once alright so this was a quick little tutorial on delete operator and delete in no means freeze your memory um, but it kinda acts to unset your variables in JavaScript so handle it with care and that's it for this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then